Okay, one of the things that are missing, I say missing, it's not really missing from Final Cut Pro 10 is uh, the deinterlace video filter. And <clears throat> it's really easy to make one. You can just jump into motion and use motions, deinterlace, and bring it back in. And you see in the viewer here, I've got a piece of video that needs deinterlacing. It's originally shot at about 60i. I want this to be a 30p project. So I'm going to take deinterlace here and just drag it on to my clip. And you can see how good a job that does. And you can download the deinterlace filter from my website. Just check the description below. The other effect that I'm releasing today is called Inset Tools. Now I have this clip placed over one in the background. It's actually the baby bird that Mama is feeding. So what I want to do is just inset the feeding here into the background clip and I can just go ahead and drag this on here. Now the first thing this does is it reduces the size of the video in the frame to 92%. Now I mean you can adjust this in the effects panel of the inspector. You'll see it shows, uh, first, the first filter I applied is the deinterlace. It shows up here. So you can select uh, which field you want and whether or not to duplicate or interpolate or blend the fields. The next thing on the list is the inset tools. And you can see that the initial scale is 92%. There is automatically a drop shadow applied. It's just the standard drop shadow. It's five pixels off and it has a blur of five. The opacity is 75% and the shadow is black, but you can change the color. You can change the distance. You can change the opacity. You can change the blur. And if you go up here, you can change the position and the rotation as well as the scale. If I scale this down, I can do that, or I can leave it like it is, or, and use a Z position in 3D space. Now, it's not going to go behind the video that's in the background, but I can just use the Z position to resize this. The X position, uh, let's bring it over to this side, and the Y position to create the inset. And you can also set the rotation. You can set the X rotation, the Y rotation, and the Z rotation. You can, there's a border that's applied to this. It's a simple border. It's just a line. It has, uh, it's a hairline border, but you can change the width, the color. Let's go with the same basic shade as the shadow. And if there's transparency in the video, uh, you can have an optional color background. And I'll show you that. As a matter of fact, I need to go get the clip to get that, so uh, I'll come back. Okay, I'm back. And let me drag this in here. Now, all of it. And...
This is just a little overlay I was playing around with. And I'll go ahead and add the inset tools to this. And up here in the inspector you can see that it automatically has a black background. You can turn it on or off. You can set the opacity of it. If you change the border, Let's play with the positioning a little bit. And the drop shadow. Now, there's an interesting effect with this. The border makes the inset video looks like it has a thickness. So we're going to blur that up some. Bring in the distance. See what I mean? You get this. Makes it look thick. And I'll go ahead and... So there's a couple of free effects that you can have. Just check the description, download them from my site. I'll have uh, installation instructions in a readme file inside the zip files. And I hope you enjoy these and keep checking back for more. Thank you very much.